Well, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome. Uh, welcome to each and every one of you to our program for tonight. I hope you've had a very blessed week so far. This is going to add more to your blessings for this week as we pray together on the prayer theme, Short Bed and Narrow Sheet. I know you are wondering, what in the world does that stand for? Short Bed and Narrow Sheet? Yes, you got it. I found that in the Bible, and it's so meaningful. But do me a favor, those of you on Facebook, please let someone know that we're on the air and invite them to come join us. And those of you on the podcast, please send a link to somebody. Those of you who are listening to me right now on MixLR, Please do the same. We will be very grateful if you will let others know that we're on the air to pray today. Short bed and narrow sheet. That's our theme for tonight and for tomorrow night. Prayer points that are taken from one of the most powerful proverbs that are recorded in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. But this one is from the Old Testament. Father, bless us as we pray together tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I just made a point. I said, this prayer is taken from one of the most powerful proverbs in the Old Testament. As you all know, a proverb is a short popular saying. Every country has it. Every nation has it. Every ethnic group has it. Every tribe has it. Proverbs, proverbs, proverbs. They are all popular sayings usually of unknown and ancient origin. And they express effectively some commonplace truth or some useful thought, or an adage, or a precept. That's what a proverb is all about. That definition perfectly fits the Jewish proverb that we're using for our prayer tonight. It is very short. It is a very popular Jewish saying, and it effectively expresses a truth that was applicable then and is still applicable now. The proverb is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, in verse number 20. You're going to be blessed tonight. Isaiah 28, 20. You can talk there with me and read with me as I read. This is amazing. This is what the Bible says. It says, for the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it. And the covering is narrower than that he can wrap himself in it. It's a proverb. I'll break it down in a minute. Let me explain but the context that led to the use of this proverb and then I'll make an application that I have in mind tonight. This was what happened. At this point, Israel was in trouble because of their backsliding state. And they had been decimated by the Assyrian Empire in one of their sadistic attacks. And Israel was looking for covering. Israel was looking for protection. Unfortunately, rather than go to God for protection and covering, they ran to Egypt 
and signed an agreement with the Egyptians for their protection. And you know what God did? God laughed at them. And he used this proverb to describe the futility of their effort. So he said, come on now. You remember that Jewish proverb? The bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it. And the covering is narrower than that a man can wrap himself in it. In other words, the Egyptian bed that they were lying on for comfort was too short to give them the comfort that they needed. And the Egyptian covering that they were trusting in was too narrow to cover them. You know what I think this can be likened to? It's like a 20-year-old covering himself with the bed sheet of an infant. It's not going to cover you. Or a 30-year-old sleeping on a baby crib. It's not going to be long enough for you. God was essentially telling the Israelites that they will never find protection. They will never find rest. They will never find covering anywhere except in himself, no matter how hard they tried. But there's another way this proverb is used. It is used also by the Jews where every effort a man makes in life comes short and is insufficient. Can I repeat that? This proverb is always used also in situations where every effort a man makes in life comes short and is insufficient. When a bed is short, a man cannot lie at his full length and be at ease. It's impossible. When the bed clothings, the bed sheets are narrow, a man cannot cover himself with them so as to be warm and so as to be comfortable. That is exactly the way the enemy will love for you to be and for my state to be also. But we'll reject that tonight. What is the state of a man lying on a bed that is short and covering himself with a bed sheet that is narrow? What is the state? It's very simple. The person will have what should normally give him ease. That's the bed. But he will not find ease on that bed. The person will have what should normally make him comfortable. That is the bed sheet. But because it is too narrow, he will never find comfort from a narrow bed sheet. Especially if it's in the winter months where you need to cover yourself or what the African call cold season. You know, during the rainy season, Africans say, it's cold, it's cold. So you try to get a narrow bed sheet to cover yourself when it is cold. You're not going to get the comfort and the ease that you need. And this is exactly what the enemy wants for our lives. That every effort you make will always be short and will always be insufficient. That is what we want to pray against tonight. You have, but you don't have enough. You have a bed, but the bed is not long enough. You have a bed sheet, but the bed sheet is too narrow. You know what David describes as my cup runneth over is never the life experience of the people that this proverb is applicable to. When a man is under the reality of this proverb, what he is looking forward to ends up not meeting his expectations. We're going to pray about that today. That whatever you are looking forward to right now will meet your expectations and will exceed 
your expectations. It's like you go to a, to an hotel and they say, well, your room is room number 246. And here you are, you are 5 foot 11 tall and uh, you get to the place and it's a baby crib you find there and you are tired. When a man is living under the reality of this proverb, what he's looking forward to ends up not meeting his expectations. Their sources of confidence will always end up failing them. The affairs of life leave such people perplexed and surprised. If they sit for an exam and the cutoff mark is 65, they will score 64. I know of a guy who is a medical doctor. He always missed the cut off for his board exam by one point and he ended up cleaning offices. Honestly, he couldn't practice medicine. Started cleaning offices because he was always shot. Every time, every time, every time, every time he was always shot. So these people where they hope to find rest and security, they find the opposite. Disappointment, disappointment, disappointment is always the experience of those whose life fit this proverb. They come home weary, they come home tired, they come home in need of refreshing rest, but they sadly are disappointed. That which is supposed to bring them comfort only leads to frustration. God has so made us human beings that there are two things essential for our comfort. Did you know that? If not for their very existence, these two things are important for every human being. Sleep and clothing. Sleep and clothing. Have you ever thought of that? Sleep and clothing. All right? An anticipation of happiness leads to an emancipation of sadness. That's what happens when this proverb feeds you. To sleep, you can't sleep. To clothe yourself, you can't clothe yourself. So Isaiah 28, 20 says, The bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it, and the covering narrower than that he can wrap himself in it. That is insufficiency. You have it, but it's not enough. All right? You possess it, but it's not enough. You want to buy a house, but you end up finding that your credit is not good enough. You just miss it just by that. Or the down payment you need to pay is just short by that. Always short, always short. We need to pray against that today. You want to buy something, you want to buy a car, and you are just short. You want to gain admission to a school overseas, and they're giving you the admission. You know how many people have lost admission to schools overseas simply because the money they need to pay is short. And once it's short, that's it. They will not give you the ad admission. You know, my, pray my prayer for you tonight is very simple. That the words of this proverb shall not be your portion. My prayer for you tonight is very simple. That the experiences of the victims of this proverb shall not be your portion. My prayer for you this evening is very simple. May your bed not be too short for you, whatever that is. May your covering not be too narrow for you, no matter what that is. May your covering and your bed not bring you the discomfort that you are not expecting. And if they are right now, May God lengthen your short bed by a miraculous intervention. And may God make your narrow sheet wider for you. I think I need to keep quiet so we can pray for the next 45 minutes. Are you ready? Me, I'm ready. And I'm sure God is ready to answer our prayers also. Let's go before him with thanksgiving. Let's go before him with praise. Let's let him know that we thank him for this truth. Say, Lord, I thank you. 
Say, Lord, I praise you. Say, Lord, I worship you. Say, Lord, I adore you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, I will bless you. Father, I will worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we glorify you. I want you to thank God for bringing you to this place of prayer tonight. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your holy name. I want you to thank God for allowing you to see the first Thursday of August 2022. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you for allowing us to be one of those that will gather together in this prayer meeting tonight. Glory be to your name, honor be to your name, dominion be to your name, majesty be to your name, O God. Come on, bless his name. Come on, worship him. Come on, adore him. Thank him for allowing you to be at this prayer meeting tonight. Thank him for his protection on you, for his provision for you. Thank him because he has been a good God in the name of Jesus to us. I wanted to thank him for keeping your interest up in this prayer meeting. Many of you have been here since we started. Hallelujah. Many of you have brought other people into these prayers. You, oh Lord, we just give you praise for keeping our interest up. I thank God for not letting me be tired of leading this prayer day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by my spirit, saith the Lord. I give God the praise for his strength, for his might, for his for his enablement, and I hope you do so. Hallelujah, Father, we all thank you. We all praise you. We all worship you. We all adore you. We all give you glory. I want you to bless his name for all your answered prayers since you joined this prayer meeting. I can tell you so many prayers that God has answered for me, so many breakthroughs that God has given people that I know on this prayer line. Come on, bless his name. Worship him, adore him, glorify him. If you don't even know of anything, at least you know that it has kept your prayer life strong and dynamic. Father, I will bless your name for all the answer prayers. Since we joined this prayer meeting, O oh Lord, since we joined this group to pray, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Let us not be ungrateful men and women. Let us not be ungrateful boys and girls. Let's just say, Lord, we'll bless you. Let's just say, Lord, we'll worship you. Lord, we adore you for answering our prayers in so many, 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 many ways. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah. I want you to thank God for the truth that you have heard tonight. That's one of the Jewish proverbs, people. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you. Some of you have never heard this before. You are hearing it for the first time. It's in the book of Isaiah. Father, we thank you for this great, 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 great truth that it is possible for the bed to be too short for the one that is laying on it and for the bed sheet to be too narrow for the one that wants to cover himself. Father, we thank you because your word is new to us every morning. You always bring it out so, so clear, so, so truthful. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify you. Thank God. Thank God for this truth. But I also wanted to thank God for long enough bed. Some of you, your bed is long enough. Some of you, your sheets are wide enough right now. And you need to be thankful to God for it. Because if you will just meet people that are on the other side, the bed is not long enough. The bed sheet is not wide enough. It is in an uncomfortable state to be. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. If you feel you've got it made, I wanted to just say, Lord, I bless you in so many ways, in so many areas. My bed is long enough. My sheet is wide enough. You remember when your bed was not long enough, my friend? You remember when your sheet was too narrow? I wanted to thank God. Say, Lord, I remember those days. Oh, I thank you for redeeming me from those days and for breaking the yoke of those days from my life when I never had enough when food was never enough in the house, when my clothing was never enough. I had to wear the same clothes to church Sunday after Sunday. Oh God, I give you praise for what you have done for me over the years, over the months, over the decades. Thank God for long enough bed. Thank God for wide enough sheet that you have right now. It's not by might, it's not by power. It's because of the goodness of God. It's because of the grace and mercy of God towards you. I want you to bless the name of the Lord for that, for his provision that are sufficient for you. Glory to God. You look in the bank, you have enough money. You want to pay your bills, you have enough money to pay your bills. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you because the bed is not too short. 
for us to pay our bills. The bed, the bed sheet is not, uh, it's not too narrow to wrap ourselves around uh, to be able to do what we need to do in life. Father God, we glorify you. Father God, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. I want you to thank him because we are necessary. The Lord will lengthen your bed and he will widen your sheet. Hallelujah. I know that for sure, for sure. Say, Lord, I thank you because where necessary, you will lengthen my bed and you will widen my sheet. Glory be to his name. Honor be to his name. Pray that God will give you the prayer points that you need to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, Papa, touch us and give us the uh, appropriate prayer points that will meet our needs and change our lives and change our stories and change our situations. I want you to pray that sin and unbelief will not hinder what God wants to do for us in this place tonight. I want you to pray that if there be anything wrong in your heart, in your life, in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit, the blood of Jesus will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Because if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, any sin of omission, any sin of commission, whatever it is about me that is not pleasing to you, whatever it is about me that will hinder my prayers, I pray that you will cleanse me, you will wash me, you will purge me, you will purify me, and you will make me whole in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that all unbelief, mm, all unbelief in your life, the Lord will destroy them right now in the name of Jesus that you'll be able to pray, you'll be able to call on him in faith and in confidence tonight in the name of Jesus. Why don't you let's pray for strength tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray for me for strength as I lead this prayer. Pray for yourself for strength as you pray this prayer. Those of you who are in faraway lands, you are supposed to be sleeping by now. Hallelujah, it's already past midnight in London. But you can really pray right now. Then make it your night vigil. May God keep you awake. May God keep you alert. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, just touch us and strengthen us to call on you tonight. And to call on you with intensity tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray that the Lord will strengthen you to pray. The Lord will strengthen me to lead the prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, pray, 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 pray pray tonight uh, that God will take that intensely strengthen you tonight uh, and give you the power that you need to be able to pray to be able to call upon his holy name father give us the strength give us the grace to be able to pray tonight uh, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus uh, can we go into the prayers proper tonight say my father my father my father my father tonight uh, Say, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, in the, hey, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we are necessary. Say, O oh Lord, we are necessary. O oh Lord, lengthen my bed and widen my sheet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Papa, where I am coming short, O oh God. Lengthen my bed and widen my sheet, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray wherever you are tonight. That the Lord, wherever necessary necessary will widen 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 your sheet and lengthen 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 your bed in the name of jesus christ of nazareth papa give that miracle all across this prayer line tonight give that miracle across everyone that is on this prayer line tonight that where they are short where their beds are short you will lengthen them tonight where their sheets are narrow you will widen them tonight papa lengthen and widen and lengthen and widen and lending and widen them tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus say oh Lord where my bed is short oh God where my bed is short tonight oh Lord lending it lending it lending it make it longer make it longer make it longer and where my sheet oh Lord God is narrow oh God add more tackling clothes to it oh God so I have enough to wrap around me oh God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come on see I refuse 
refuse to lie down on a short bed in the name of Jesus. Say, I refuse to lie down on a short bed and I shall not be covered by a narrow sheet in any area of my life. We are praying the proverb right now and because it's a proverb, I'm sure you know the application of it. Say, oh Lord, I shall not lie on a short bed. I shall not be covered by a narrow sheet in the name of Jesus. I decree it for myself. I decree it for my family. I decree it for my friends. I decree it for my husband. I decree it for my wife. We refuse to lie down on a short bed. We refuse to be covered by a narrow sheet in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, I refuse to lie down on a short bed, oh God. I refuse to be covered by a narrow sheet, oh God. Oh Lord, let your fire consume. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, send your fire down. Say, oh Lord, send your fire down and consume every short bed and every narrow sheet that has been assigned to me, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let your fire, let your fire, let your fire, let your fire, let your fire consume every short bed and every narrow sheet that life has assigned to me or the devil has assigned to me or my bosses have assigned to me in the name of Jesus. Say narrow sheet is not my portion in the name of Jesus. Say short bed is not my portion in the name of Jesus. Whoever has assigned them to me, come and take your assignment. It's not for me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of the king. Say, oh Lord, let fire consume them. Every short bed, every narrow sheet assigned to me, oh Lord, give in to me, oh Lord. Every narrow sheet, every narrow sheet, every narrow sheet. In the name of Jesus, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Every short bed, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Say, oh Lord, say I'm a child of the king. Yes, you are. King of kings, Lord of lords. Say, I'm a child of the king. Say, king-sized bed is my portion, not a baby crib. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let us claim what belongs to us tonight in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I realize and I confess and I profess I'm a child of the king. I sleep on king-sized bed, not on a crib. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm a child of the king, oh God. In in the name of Jesus, I sleep on king size bed, oh God. Whoever made this crib for me, you better come and carry your crib in the name of Jesus. I shall not sleep in a crib. A crib is not for the child of a king. In the name of Jesus, I'm fully grown child of the king. I shall sleep on king size bed and I shall cover myself and wrap myself with king size sheets. In the name of Jesus, in the name of of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and say, baby crib is not my portion. Baby crib is not my portion. Oh Lord, king size bed is my portion. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight, wherever you are, we are praying this proverb in the name of Jesus tonight. And I want you to tell your heavenly father, say, I'm a child of the king. Hallelujah. I'm a child of the king. I don't sleep on a bed that my feet will be, will be outside the bed and my body will be on the bed. Uh-uh. In the name of Jesus, I don't cover myself with a sheet that will bring cold into my body. In the name of Jesus, full cover, full cover, full length, full cover, full length, full length of blessing, full cover of blessing. My body shall be covered and wrapped around by the full blessings of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say from now on, I shall be covered in full. In the name of Jesus, by the fullness of the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus, I shall be covered in full. Totally covered, completely covered. All over me, in the name of Jesus. Papa, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, cover me, in the name of Jesus. Make everything long enough for me, O Lord, to sleep with comfort, to ride with comfort, to rest with comfort, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, I want you to tell the Lord tonight, say adequacy, 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 adequacy. That's what this proverb is all about, oh, what they had was not adequate for them. I want you to pray tonight. Say, my Father, 
Whatever you give me in this life, whatever you bless me with in this life, let it bring me adequate ease, adequate comfort. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, Papa, whatever you give me in this life, O God, whatever you give me in this life, O Father, let it bring me adequate ease, adequate comfort, adequate ease, adequate comfort. In the name of Jesus, when you sleep on a big, good, nice bed, you have ease. When you cover yourself with a good comforter. You have comfort. Narrow is not your portion. Short is not your portion. Can I ask you to pray that prayer tonight? Say, oh Lord, narrow is not my portion. In the name of Jesus, short is not my portion. In the name of Jesus, narrow is not my portion. Short is not my portion. Narrow is not my portion. Short is not my portion. Come on, open your mouth and tell the Lord what your portion is. Cool, full size. Full size blessing in the name of Jesus. Full size blessing. Let it be my portion. Let it be my portion. Whatever you bless me with in life, oh God, let it bring me adequate ease, adequate comfort in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. What shall cover me, oh Lord? What shall cover me? Can you imagine trying to cover yourself with a narrow sheet? It will just expose you uh, for people to look at you. Uh, I want you to pray tonight, Lord, what shall cover me? Let it not expose me to human view. Uh, what shall cover me, O oh God? Let it not expose me, O oh God. Uh, we are praying proverbially tonight, uh, and I hope you are getting it. Uh, say, oh Lord, uh, what shall cover me in life? Uh, let it not expose me to human view. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, can you imagine if you cover yourself with with a short sheet and with a very narrow sheet. People will make ridicule of you. People will make fun of you. That is what happens. I want you to pray tonight. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever is bringing me to ridicule of men, whatever is making people make fun of me, O oh God, expand, O oh Lord, expand and extend in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, lend me my cords in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus, whatever is too narrow, make it wider for me, O oh God. O oh Lord, what should cover me? What should cover me? What should cover me, O oh Lord? Let it not expose me to the view of my enemies. Let it not expose me to the view of, of, of people who will make fun of me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, when you come home at night, you know what it means to lay on that your bed. And you say, hmm. This will give me rest. I want you to pray tonight. What should give you rest will not give you restlessness. Because if you sleep on a bed that is not long enough, you are restless all night long. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, give me blessings that will make me rest in life and rest in life. I don't want to die. Then people say, rest in peace, rest in peace. I want to rest in peace while I am alive, while I am here on earth. In the name of Jesus, Lord what should give me rest in life give it to me, bless me with it in the name of Jesus deliver me from restlessness, restlessness restlessness, I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will bring you ease the Lord will bring you comfort in every area of your life in the name of Jesus, Papa bring us ease and comfort in every area of our lives, I hope you are praying where you are tonight, in the name of Jesus, Lord bring us ease Lord bring us comfort in every area of our lives, in the name of Jesus. Who doesn't like ease? Who doesn't love comfort? It should be your portion also. Say, my father, give me ease. Give me comfort in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord should remove all disease and all discomfort. Say, oh Lord, remove all disease. Remove all discomfort. Whatever it is, oh Lord, I cannot sleep on a bed that is short. It's a disease. I cannot cover myself with a sheet that is narrow, is discomforting. Oh Lord, bring ease. Oh Lord, bring comfort. Oh Lord, bring ease. Oh Lord, bring comfort. In the name of Jesus, you need to change your car, my friend. That your car does not give you ease. That your car does not give you comfort. That couch in your house does not give you ease. Oh Lord, nails. You know, I, <laughs> I used to have a recliner in my house in Alabama. You have to watch out for the 
nails inside that recliner or else you will be bleeding after you sit down. It really happened to me in the name of Jesus, but God delivered me. I want you to pray tonight that God will bring you ease. God will bring you comfort in the name of Jesus. Every area of your life, on your job, you will find ease and comfort. In your ministry, you will find ease and comfort. In your marriage, you will find ease and comfort. In your business, you will find ease and comfort. In your health, you will find ease and comfort. I said every area of your life, you will find ease. You will find comfort. Let's make some decree tonight. In the name of Jesus, what should bring you comfort should not bring you frustration. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have you ever tried to cover yourself? With the covering that your grandchildren use? <laughs> I said, have you ever tried to cover yourself with the covering that your grandchildren use? It's not big enough for you. I want you to make, make that decree tonight. Oh Lord, bring me comfort, 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 comfort. That will not bring me frustration. Ease. That will not bring me frustration. Papa, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Say, oh Lord, in the, all the affairs of my life, pray, 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 pray tonight. Say, in all the affairs of my life, life. Deliver me from coming short. Deliver me from coming short. In all the areas of my life, open your mouth and pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, in all the areas of my life, deliver me from coming short. In all the affairs of my life, deliver me from coming short. Coming short when I need money. Deliver me from coming short when I need my finances. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. It is coming short that makes us to borrow. Yes, it is coming short that makes us to buy food on, on, on credit. It is coming short. You know, there was a time in this United States where you bought your food cash. There was nothing like debit card or credit card in the store where you are buying your groceries. But these days, now you can buy food and digest the food and evacuate the food. And yet, it is not paid for. Oh Lord, I shall not be short from now on. In the name of Jesus, I will deal with abundance of cash. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, deliver me from coming short. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, do you know you can get to a point where you where you actually buy your house for cash? Yes, I know we are going to pray against that because many of us, our mindset is that others may, others may have ease, others may have comfort, but it is not my portion. Get that out of your mind. Get that out of your thinking. Get that out of your head tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Deliver me from coming short in all the areas of my life, in all the affairs of my life. Coming short when I need money. Coming short when I'm sitting for an exam. Coming short in an interview. Coming short in a promotion test. Oh, Lord God, all areas of life, deliver me from coming short. Come on, open your mouth and pray wherever you are tonight. Or this morning, whatever the time is on your side. Oh Lord, let me not come short anymore. In the name of Jesus, there are people that have expectations of you. Good expectations of you. You will not come short. In the name of Jesus. But you will exceed, exceed, exceed. Exceed all expectations. In the name of Jesus. In passing an exam, you will not come short. In sitting for an interview, you will not come short. In need of money to buy this and buy that. You will not come short. Oh God, in anointing, you will not come short. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the curse, the curse, the curse, every curse of insufficiency in every area of your life, command it to break right now in the name of Jesus. A short bed shows insufficiency. A narrow sheet shows insufficiency. The bed is there, the sheet is there, but of what good are they? In the name of Jesus, you can have, but if it's not sufficient, of what good is it? I want you to pray tonight, oh Lord, break the curse. Papa, break the curse. Come on, break the curse tonight. See, I break the curse of insufficiency. I break the curse of insufficiency from every area of my life. I break the curse of insufficiency from every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Papa, I destroy it. I destroy it right now. I destroy it right now. I destroy it and I reject it. 
cause of insufficiency break from every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, this foolishness of always coming short be removed, be removed, dispersed from every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I reject the cause of insufficiency. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight that the Lord would deliver you from that curse cause of insufficiency in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know what I call this one? Almost enough, but not enough. I know what I'm talking about. Almost enough, but not enough. Have you ever tried to buy something in the store and you love this thing, but your money is just short, so you have to leave it and let it go. I want you to pray tonight. Every almost enough and not enough shall no longer be my portion in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say almost enough, but not enough. Almost enough, but not enough. Lose your hold on me. Lose your hold on my life. Be gone from me tonight. In the name of Jesus. I hope you're praying where you are this evening. I hope you're praying where you are. If it is morning time, your time. Please don't fall asleep. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Say almost enough. You shall not be my portion. Almost enough, but not enough. Almost enough, but not enough. Almost enough, but not sufficient. It shall not be my portion in any area of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Say, oh Lord, all inadequacies. Let all inadequacies. Let all inadequacies in my life be replaced with abundance. All inadequacies in my life, replace them with abundance. In the name of Jesus. All inadequacies in my life. All inadequacies in your life. Say, oh Lord, anointing of abundance anointing of abundance be my portion be my portion tonight be my portion tonight in the name of Jesus oh Lord all inadequacies you know the area there where you are inadequate if your sheet is short then it is inadequate if your bed is short if your sheet is narrow then it is inadequacy say I reject inadequacies in the name of Jesus financial inadequacies I reject you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, remove all inadequacies from my life where I'm inadequate. Papa, give me of your abundance in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Where I'm suffering from inadequacies, oh Lord, give me mighty abundant supply in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray and fight tonight? Say, oh Lord. The powers that fight abundance in my life. Oh Lord, bind them hand and foot in the name of Jesus. The powers that fight abundance in my life. Papa, bind them hand and foot for me in the name of Jesus. I set the powers that fight abundance. You will not know the door to my house in the name of Jesus. Powers that fight abundance. You will not know the door to my house in the name of Jesus. Haven't you seen people? Haven't you seen people? that have real abundance. Ay, ay, ay. I've seen quite a few people in this my life. I went to visit somebody in New Jersey a couple of years ago. Wow. I've never seen abundance like I saw in the house of this couple. Oh, beautiful abundance. Too much, too much, too much. I was looking at the cars in their drive, in, in their garage. Lord have mercy. Abundance supply. And you know what they told me? Hey, ay, ay. You know what they told me? They said, Bishop, we don't pay one tenth we pay 90 percent he said we don't pay tight we pay 90 percent and we keep 10 percent to ourselves and he said the 10 percent we keep to ourselves is abundant enough he said all those cars that you see they are all paid for this is not credit card and we are not paying any any company for all those cars and i tried to do some mathematics of the cars in their garage my goodness it was over one million dollars. And I know this young girl, this young boy, and God is blessing them. They walk in New York City here. And goodness, I said, you are blessed. I want God to make you an abundantly supplied man, an abundantly supplied woman in the name of Jesus and that the powers that fight abundance in your life will be bound tonight. Say, oh Lord, the powers that fight abundance in my life, I bind you hand and foot. Lose your hold on me. Lose your hold on my prosperity. Lose your hold on my life. 
life. All the powers of fight abundance in my life. I reject you right now. All the powers of fight abundance in my life. I reject you. You are not my portion. You are not my partner. In the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. All limitations. All limitations. All limitations. All limitations that I'm operating under right now. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Come and say be destroyed. Come and say be destroyed. Come and say be destroyed. All limitations that I'm operating under right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, destroy them. Say, oh Lord, destroy them. Say, oh Lord, destroy them. In the name of Jesus. All limitations that I'm operating under. Father, let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. All limitations that I'm operating under. Oh God, destroy them. Destroy them. Destroy them. Destroy them. In the name of Jesus. When your bed is short, that is a limitation. When your sheet is narrow, that's a limitation. I want you to pray oh, every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. I know people in Africa that cannot eat three square meals. That is limitation. They eat breakfast or they eat lunch or they eat dinner. They have to choose one of them. In the name of Jesus, it shall not be your portion. You will eat whatever you want. Hallelujah. Oh, you will not be counting the meat in your pot for your children. And you say there are six six meats inside this pot. You can only take half. And if anything is missing, I will go after you. No, abundant supply that you will cook every day. And you will not even know that you are spending money. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, destroy all limitations that I'm operating under right now. In the name of Jesus, management, 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 management. You know, in Africa, in my country, in Africa, when you greet people in those days, I don't know whether they still do it now. They will say, uh, you will say, how are you doing? He will say, we are managing. Ah, I don't want to be a manager. Say, oh Lord, I don't want to be a manager. I don't want to be managing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't answer people that we are managing. No, I'm not managing. I don't want to be managing. I don't want to be a manager. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All limitations. All manage, manage. All manage, manage. All manage, manage. In the name of Jesus. This Destroy, be destroyed, be destroyed from our lives in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to tell the Lord to breathe on you? Say, Lord, breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe on me tonight. Say, oh Lord, breathe on me tonight. Whatever is too little, whatever is too few, whatever is too small in my life, breathe on them right now and let them receive life. Are you praying where you are tonight? Say, Lord Jesus, breathe on me, breathe on me, breathe on my finances, breathe on every area of my life. Remove them. Let your breath. Oh God, let your breath. Remove whatever is too little. Remove whatever is too few. Remove whatever is too small in every area of my life. Super abundance. Super abundance. Super abundance. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray another prayer? Oh, hey, say my father. Ah, let me never get used. Papa, let me never get used to a life Life of managing to survive in the name of Jesus. Papa, let me never get used to a life of get managing to survive. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let me never, 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 never get used. Let me never, never, never get used to a life of managing to survive. In the name of Jesus, come on, pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Let me never get used. Let me never get used. Let not be normal with me, O oh God, to live a life that is just managing to survive. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, Father, enough money to cover all my expenses with leftover to save with leftover to bless other people release that grace upon me right now 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 enough money enough financial blessing to cover all my expenses with leftover leftover to save leftover to bless other people papa release that grace on me papa release that grace 
place on us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Enough financial blessing to cover all your expenses during the month with leftover, leftover, leftover to save. Release, release that blessing up. <laughs> Lord God, release it. Destroy me, oh God. Did you hear what I'm about to ask you? To pray tonight, destroy any belief, any belief inside me that I cannot be like those that are comfortable in life. Did you hear what I said? Say, oh Lord, destroy that belief in me. Father, destroy that belief in me. Father, approve that belief in me that I cannot be like those that are comfortable in life. You know, there are some people that will think, ah, for them, oh, they will be comfortable. For us, we will be managing. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a woman that gave birth to you, that gave birth to them. This same people, they breathe like you breathe, blood runs in them like it runs in you, your story must change. Say, oh Lord, the belief inside me that I cannot be like those that are comfortable in life. Lord, I reject it, I reject it, I reject it. I used to work for a man in Montgomery, Alabama years ago. <laughs> I used to work for this guy. He went to Florida and his car broke down in front of a Mercedes-Benz place. He just went into the Mercedes-Benz place and they said, do you want to finance a car? He said, no, I want to write a check for one. He wrote a check oh, and drove another car back to the office. I'm saying to you, God can God can change your bed into king size bed. God can make your sheet into king size sheet. Just that belief inside you, that mindset inside you, that you cannot be like those that are comfortable in life. Lord, I reject it tonight. Let my thinking be different. In in the name of Jesus, can I ask you to pray for anointing of super abundance tonight? Say, oh Lord, anointing of super abundance. Let it fall on me, let it fall on me, let it fall on me. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Say, Lord Jesus, anointing of super abundance, anointing of a bed that is longer, anointing of a sheet that is wider, anointing of super abundance. Fall on me, fall on me, fall on me to wear, to eat, to spend, anointing of super abundance. Let it be my portion, let it be my portion, let it be my portion. In the name of Jesus. My friend, I want you to pray tonight that your bonds, that's what the book of Proverbs says, your bonds will be filled with plenty and your presses will overflow with new wine. Say, oh Lord, from now on, let my bonds be filled with plenty, let my presses overflow with new wine. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. Say, Lord, overshadow my life now. So, Lord, overshadow my life. Say, oh, Lord, overshadow. Just keep on saying that. I will tell you what I want God to overshadow your life with. Do you remember when Jesus fed thousands of people? And they were all fed. They were all fed. And then... Twelve basket fools were left over. Eh, that is what I want God to overshadow your life with. In the name of Jesus, with the power that fed thousands and with twelve baskets full left over. Father, overshadow me with that kind of life. In the name of Jesus, overshadow me with that kind of power. Overshadow me with that kind of grace that fed thousands and twelve basket fools were left over. Papa, let that be my anointing. Papa, Papa, let that be my portion. I don't want to pick on, under the table of the rich and, and the wealthy. In the name of Jesus, overshadow my life with the power that fed thousands and twelve baskets full left over. Father, I decree I will always have enough and left over. Come on, say, I decree it tonight. Come on, open your mouth, say, I decree it tonight. I will always have enough and left over. I will always have enough and left over. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Papa, I decree I will always have enough. I will always have leftover. In the name of Jesus, recession or no recession, I will always have enough and be leftover. In the name of Jesus, say let my cup always be full and running over with the abundance of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of borrowing and borrowing and borrowing and borrowing, get out of my life. In the name of Jesus, my bed must 
must be lengthened. My sheet, O Lord, must be extended. Let my cup always be full. Let my cup always be full to overflowing, running over with God's abundance. Let that be my portion, O God. Let that be my portion, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come and say from today. Yes, uh, this Thursday night uh, or this Friday morning uh, or wherever you are praying this prayer with us, uh, decree that you will always have enough and left over. Can I ask you to pray for whatever project you are undergoing right now? Maybe you have a project uh, that you are doing right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. You will not stop until you finish uh, from tonight. Uh, you will not stop until you finish that project. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you will not say my bed is short. I cannot go on. Uh, you will not say my sheet is narrow. I cannot go on. Say, oh Lord, this project must receive help from heaven. Say, oh Lord, send help. Say, oh Lord, send help. Say, oh Lord, send help. Extend my bed. Extend my sheet. Extend my bed. Extend my sheet. Every project in my hand. Come on, open your mouth and pray right now. Say, I will not borrow to finish this project. In the name of Jesus, I will not borrow to finish this project. Supernaturally, God must lend in my bed. In the name of Jesus, God must widen my, 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 my sheet. In the name of Jesus, it must be easy for me, O oh God. I will finish this project debt free. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the living God with whom all things are possible, by the power of the living God, silver and gold belong to you, O oh God. I will finish this project. In the name of Jesus, without borrowing from any bank, without borrowing from any man, O oh Lord God, always having enough and left over. Let it be my portion. Always having enough and left over. Let it be my portion. In the name of Jesus. Papa, I give you my cup tonight. Yes, I give you my cup tonight. Fill it up. Let it run over. Papa, fill it up. Let it run over. I'm not going to leave you until you fill it up. I'm not going to leave you until it runs over. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. In the name of Jesus. Miracle miracle, miracle walking God. Papa, give us a miracle tonight that will lengthen this bed, that will widen this sheet in any area of our lives. In the name of Jesus, deliver me, deliver me from depending on people. Deliver me from looking up to people. I'm looking up to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Papa, send help down from heaven. In the name of Jesus, remove all limitations. Remove all limitations. Whatever is good in my life. Make it to become best in the name of Jesus. Yes, the bed is good, but the bed is useless if it is not long enough. Yes, the sheet is good, but it's useless if it's not wide enough. I want you to pray whatever is good in my life, but it's of no use. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever is good in my life, but it's of no use to me. Whatever is nice in my life, but it's of no use to me because it is not enough. It is not sufficient. It is short. Papa, Papa, give me a miracle tonight. Give me a miracle tonight. Papa, give me a miracle tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You come home looking for bed, but the bed is too short. You come home looking for a sheet, but the sheet is too narrow. I want you to decree tonight. Say, Lord, as we go tonight, every rest that I look forward to will not turn into restlessness. Every comfort that I look forward to will not turn to discomfort. Did you hear what I said? Say, Every rest that I look forward to will not turn into restlessness. Every comfort that I look forward to will not turn into discomfort. You are coming home to rest on the bed. And here, are your, here is your feet. Three feet out in the open. Here is your bed. The sheet is only covering half of your bed, half of your body. And you say, wow, I came home looking for rest. I got restlessness. I came home looking for comfort. I got discomfort. Oh, Lord, remove it from our life. Break it from the stories of our lives. Give us, O oh Lord, everything we need and let it be sufficient for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, begin to thank God, begin to bless Him, begin to worship Him, begin to adore Him. We got one more minute. We begin to say, Lord, I bless your name. Begin to say, Lord, I worship you. Begin to say, Lord, I adore you for what you have done for me tonight, for throwing out the old bed, for throwing out the old sheet, and for giving me king size bed. Hallelujah! 
for giving me king size sheet. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for the answer. We praise you and we bless you for abundant supply. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May everything you need come into your hand. May it be sufficient to do what you need to do. May you never lack what you need to do all that you need to do in life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. We'll bless his holy name tonight. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Now you know what it is all about. Short bed and narrow sheet. It shall not be your portion. We'll be back again tomorrow night by the grace of God to continue where we started on tonight. Shall we share the grace as we go and rest for the evening? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Go home tonight and rest. Have all sufficiency, and may you have enough in every area of your life. Good night.